Hi guys, I'll be working on a Chevy. The customer states that the left side of the vehicle window motors work. You can see, but the right side, it doesn't. The passenger in the right rear, it doesn't work at all. So before we start, let's have a look at the wiring diagrams. It's a 2007 Chevy. Let's go to the diagrams, electrical, and we scroll down to the windows. Yes, there. It's grouped like left and right. So let's go and look for the right one. Yeah, let's zoom in. Yeah, this one. As you can see, this is the window motor passenger, and it has two circuits. Now, and let's look for the right rear. This one, yeah. And it also has two circuits. The passenger side is going to the passenger door switch. Yeah, this is the battery positive voltage. We usually start by looking for the fuses. And this one, right door circuit. It's located in the junction block left in panel. So we start by looking at that circuit breaker fuse. As you can see it also goes to the window switch right rear. So this is the junction block, let's pull the fuse and see how it looks like. My bad, I mean, let's pull the circuit breaker. This one looks really bad. So you can see guys, it's burnt. Let's have a look at the junction block and see. Yes, it's burnt. Maybe because of high load or there is a short to ground. Let's check it out. I will be using a fuse to see if it's a short to ground or not. If it blows up, there is a short to ground. And if it melts, it's because of high load. Yeah, it's a short to ground. Let's use a tester. Yeah, you can see that's a short to ground, definitely. So I will start off by disconnecting these so it's to see if the shot goes. It's really hard to record and work. The connector doesn't seem to be burnt out here and the switch looks good too. I will be disconnecting the passenger side as well. Let's see how this one looks like. If it's burnt or not. It looks fine. Connector is good. This is a rear connector. Let's see if we have a ground here. Yeah, we do. So I'll try to disconnect the connector from here to see if, like, we have a short in the door itself. The 
this is the circuit let's see if we have a ground we do This one looks fine here, so I will head to the junction block and see the ground from there and diagnose it. Let's see the wiring diagram and find out how the circuit goes. So here we have two circuits which are fed by the breaker, one circuit goes through connector C1. and the other goes through connector C11. The best way to diagnose the short is by isolating. We disconnect one connector at a time. This is the junction block and that's connector C1. And this is the top view of the junction block. These are the circuit breakers, this is C11. So we will isolate C11 first, holding the tester, trying to disconnect the connector, yeah, that is it, the short is gone. The short lies within the circuit, must be touching somewhere. So after hours looking for the short, this is what I found. Looks like someone was working on this car and they spliced these two circuits together. As you can see, the short is still there. After separating these two, you can see the short is gone. It's all good. Since they were spliced together, the short was in the other circuit. This one is the shorted circuit and the top one is the circuit which we were working on and it is all good. The short is from this one. Let us see where it goes. So after looking at the junction block, so the other circuit breaker was also Toasted this one. Yes. This one looks like the circuit which was shorted. Let's see where it goes. It is the CB3 we are looking for and it says it is the driver seat 2. So here we are again looking at the diagrams of the junction block. This is the driver seat 2 circuit breaker. It was shorted. goes to the seat adjuster switch 
driver and I believe is the driver seat motors going bad yes you can see that motors there are three motors must must be one of them I hope you guys have found this video informative do like and subscribe to my channel for more videos and our next step will be to remove the driver's seat and see if the short goes or not this is how the connector looked like after removing the seat it's in a bad shape we will fix this no more shortage we will be replacing this connector and this one because it was overheated until next time